I know many of you, you're already thinking it, you're already asking the question, how in rural America do we generate the resources necessary to do the ministry at the level I'm believing God for? I, I know this is true. I've watched this transpire in our church and we are always desperate for more resources. Um, even now with multiple campuses and remotes and house churches and so on and multi-staff, but at any level, when I was the only staff member, we were always ready to receive from God, not based on a call or a need, but based on vision. God responds to vision. And when you put out vision, God responds into the hearts of his people and they're ready to give. Um, maybe you're asking him for new flowers or, or a new paint job or uh, sheetrock instead of paneling. I don't know what it is. Uh, new uh, kitchen tables and chairs. God will provide the resources. What you have to do and what I have to do is hear from God that it's his call and then communicate the vision. Now, I will say this. If you have someone in your organization or on your board, um, a trustee or a financial clerk, you need to make sure that they have a faith-filled vision because it's only through faith that God's going to supply the needs necessary in rural America. Um, it, it happened on the backside of the desert with the children of Israel. It's going to happen the same way the backside of the desert here uh, where I'm seated is in a town uh, of population 88. But God provided every resource necessary. Make sure you have a faith-filled person. And let me say this too. Um, whatever you're believing God for, do it. Just do it. And, and watch the income come in. We just went through an extraordinary time of giving in our church when we were seeing some of the most difficult days. People don't respond to need, they respond to vision, as you've heard it said many times before. Believe God for it. And then make sure that you have the right people sitting at the table, at your trustee board, your board of directors, and find great accountability. We have an organization, a group that assists us with our finances, that give us complete accountability. We also have another accounting firm that gives us complete accountability with our pay and our paychecks. Also, are auditing our books and looking over our taxes and make sure everything's paid. Um, we have a great organization that assists us with that and our board of trustees, trustees that bring about great accountability in my life and also in the expenditure uh, of the church. I will say uh, this as well. Please um, guard your heart and do not let the wrong volunteer get near uh, the financial information uh, of your church. Guard it there, especially in rural America. Protect yourself because some people try to get close so they can get control. The reason most churches in rural America do not grow is because the leaders of that church, or at least they think they are the leaders, they want all of the um, control and no responsibility. Because if the church is going well, they pat themselves on a little bit and on the back, but the church goes down, they blame it on the leader or the pastor typically. So it's the same way with the finances. Guard that information. Now, I'm not saying you hide it from the church, but don't let a volunteer in that could possibly uh, stir up stuff, start rumors, gossips, and so on. Make sure that you get the right accounting firm or, a, or someone you hire uh, that you pay or a great volunteer outside of your church that can assist you with the finances. And, and, and you can get on our blog at, at breakingallthereals.com and ask more questions concerning this. But I encourage you make sure that it's faith-filled volunteers that assist with that. And then believe God for huge things. Your congregants, the people growing in your church, are going to take the finances to the next level as they walk in obedience and see transformed lives. When lives are transforming, so are wallets. So believe God for big stuff financially in your church. Even if they have a rural mindset financially, be ready to watch God liberate their wallet because they're going to be liberated in their hearts, transformed, ready to change rural America.